In this video, let me consider one numerical on Milman's theorem. Find the output voltage E0 for the circuit shown below using Milman's theorem. This is the given circuit. We have to find voltage E0 which is between terminal this and this. This we supposed to calculate using Milman's theorem. So here E0 is nothing but voltage across 2 ohm resistor, 2 kilo ohm resistor. So as we know in Milman's theorem, the voltage or the current in which branch we are calculating, first we have to remove that branch. So here we supposed to remove this 2 kilo ohm register from the circuit. If we remove this 2 kilo ohm, so it will become open at these two points. I will call this point is A and this point is B. Let me draw the equivalent circuit. So here I have drawn the equivalent circuit. So I have removed the voltage, the register which is connected between terminal A and B. So we have to find voltage across that register later. So in Milman's theorem, first we have to calculate the Milman's voltage Vm and we have to calculate the Milman's resistance Rm. Then we have to connect Vm in series with Rm and we have to connect the 2 kilo ohm register in series with that and we have to find E0. So first let me calculate the Milman's voltage Vm. The formula to calculate Milman's voltage Vm is Vm is equal to V1 Y1 V2 Y2 plus V3 Y3 divided by we have Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. So here this is V1 voltage, this is V2 and this is V3. That is V1 is equal to 48 volt, V2 is equal to 60 volt, V3 is equal to 20 volt. So here in series with V1, R1 is connected. So here R1 is equal to 12 kilo ohm, R2 is 6 kilo ohm and we have R3 is 4 kilo ohm. R3 is 4 kilo ohm. So here Y1, Y2, Y3 are nothing but reciprocal of resistance. That is Y1 will be equal to 1 upon R1. That is nothing but 1 upon 12K. So it gives 8.333 into 10 power minus 5 mo. Similarly, Y2 is nothing but reciprocal, reciprocal of resistance. So reciprocal of resistance is nothing but conductance. The unit for conductance is mo. That is 1 upon R2 which is equal to 1 upon 6K. So it gives 1.667 into 10 power minus 4 mo. Similarly, Y3 is equal to we have 1 upon R3 that is 1 upon 4 kilo ohm that is nothing but 2.5 into 10 power minus 4 more. Now let me substitute all these values in this equation. So therefore I can write Vm is equal to we have V1 into Y1. So V1 is 48. Y1 is 8.333 into 10 power minus 5. That is 48 into 8. 333 into 10 power minus 5 plus we have V2 Y2 that is 60 into 1.667 plus we have V3 Y3 that is 20 into 2.5 20 into 2.5 into 10 power minus 4 whole divided by we have y1 plus y2 plus y3 that is sum of these three values. So that is we have 8.333 into 10 power minus 5 plus 1.667 into 10 power minus 4 plus 2.5 into 10 power minus 4. Let me simplify this further. So simplifying this numerator it gives the value 0 0.019 and simplifying denominator it gives it gives 5.5 5.5 
y into 10 power minus 4. So simplifying we will get 38 volts. So now let's calculate RM. The RM can be calculated using the formula RM is equal to 1 upon Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. That is nothing but 1 divided by these all are Y1, Y2, Y3. That is 8.333 into 10 power minus 5 plus 1.667 into 10 power minus 4 plus 2.5 into 10 power minus 4. So simplifying this, we will get RM is 2000 ohms. That is nothing but 2 kilo ohm. So now RM and VM are connected in series. So this is VM which is 38 volt is connected in series with RM. RM is 2000 ohms and this is the terminal A and B. This is A terminal and this is B terminal. So here as we know A in between terminal A and B 2 kilo ohm is connected. Now we have to connect 2 kilo ohm to this equivalent circuit. This is Milman's equivalent circuit. So here we supposed to connect 2 kilo ohm. So now let me calculate the current in this circuit let current is I therefore current I is equal to 38 divided by this plus this this is 2k plus 2k that is 4 kilo ohm therefore I is equal to we will get 9.5 milliamp so therefore voltage E naught is nothing but voltage across 2 kilo ohm that is 2 kilo into we have I therefore E0 is equal to 2 kilo into 9.5 milliamps. So here milli and K will get cancelled. We will get E0 is equal to it gives 19 volts. So this is the required result which is calculated using Milman's theorem. Thank you for watching.